Yeah, Scourge. we got we got the great Scourge Mom. Oh no, full one still. So. Scourge Mom versus with the Chewbacca Pikachu. Yeah. I I am feeling that shirt. Man. Yeah, that is that is hype. You guys can see it there. Okay, the little screen lit up right there. You guys can see it at the bottom. Yep. Got a Chewbacca Just Pikachu. Look at that. Yep, top that after man. Definitely gonna be buying that. <laughs> Scourge Mom having a very uh. A defensive Pikachu, to say the least. Yeah. He likes his, he likes the space. He's like able to be running around. Right, right. And just forcing his opponent to do something. He's he he will just sit there and wait for you to do something. Yeah. He's a very patient player. So let's see how this turns out. Yeah. It should, I mean, this should be exciting, man. It should be exciting. Uh, this guy is a quality player. I love his Pikachu. I saw it for the first time at Fire and Dice. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see it here right now in the regional. And I want I want to see him do some work, man. I want to see him pick out some names. Yeah. So, and we see. have. So it's gonna be Pikachu versus Villagers. This is uh, I don't know how I feel about this matchup. It seems very. I think Villagers should be able to shouldn't have that much trouble with Pikachu. Just the height doesn't really bother him as most characters do with their combos and stuff. So and his projectile game is should be able to keep Pikachu out for a little bit. But now we see what, we're, what I was talking about. Scourge Mom just thunder shocking, up being away, yep. just waiting for the moment to punish. Ooh. So I'll pull them back down. Yeah. Good play. Yeah, so let's see uh, how much he knows about the matchup. Because I know a lot of people right now, uh, Villager is still that kind of esoteric character. You don't really see the character too much. And so because of that, a lot of times people respect a lot of things from him. That you shouldn't. Yeah, you really shouldn't. His aerials have to respect those. His oh, yeah. are ridiculous. Turn up is you, you cannot try to challenge. Right. Just accept the fact. Let him hit your shield. Reset to neutral. Go again. But, yeah. um... Villager's actually one of his biggest weak points is when he's pulling out that Lloyd. He is very vulnerable. A lot of people, a lot of characters could just dash. His Lloyd doesn't have an active hitbox when it first comes out. Right. It takes a couple seconds, or like a couple of seconds to do yeah, it. Yeah, there's just a couple frames. Like, yeah. I think it's like frame 35 when the uh, box is active. Yeah. Something around Ooh, there. Nice and order. so you definitely have a good half a second at that point to go in and just hit him. Yeah. Definitely reactable. You could, you, most players could just run around, just run, pivot, grab Villager, and avoid yeah. the entire Lloyd situation yeah. and and now we see now we see yeah, that's gonna kill. yeah Scourge getting that kill with that up smash and this is where Scourge just takes over the game now he no longer has to approach by any means of the word just keep his distance and just but oh nice reaction to that down smash yep. but you can see here he's just trying to up the ante right here just continue up his pressure yeah and get some damage good dash attack the thing I've seen right now from Bitty is he's been throwing out a lot of attacks. Yeah. And he's been doing a lot of them preemptively. And that's also a problem that you'll have sometimes with people who are playing zoning characters. They have so much uh, kind of set plays in terms of muscle memory as yeah. far as zoning is concerned. And which is a good thing because it makes them play really fluid. But if you have someone who's breaking into your zone, it's being predictable is very, very dangerous. Yeah, that allows them to just get some crazy uh, follow-up. That that shows how uh, that's where the 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 the, the skill of a player comes in, able to adapt from his regular routine from let's say A to B to C. If you're able to interrupt that and the player is not able to adapt, just keep he's you know where he, what he's gonna do, you know where he's gonna be, and just punish him accordingly. And we're seeing three four smashes in a row. Yeah. Very very greedy, trying to get that kill. And I don't agree with this. If he is gonna do this forest match, he should do it on the top on the platform where he can't get punished. Oh, oh. Is that gonna be it? No, oh, close to it. Oh he tried to go that for was, the He missed he, he missed the back air uh punish as well. He could have killed Pikachu for attempting to use that thunder on him. Yeah. But not not being able to see it. Yeah, he's definitely having some trouble right here trying to get a kill. Yeah, bit. Uh, just kind of really just doing his standard spaces. Doesn't seem like he's really trying to change his game plan yeah. as a result of what's occurred. Yeah, and the Scourge Mob is not going to not going to change his play style. He doesn't need to. Yeah. And there it is. And there it is. That Forge Smash will take the stock. So a two stock right now from Scourge Mob. Yeah. So solid play by him. So just wanted to see what side uh, Vic can do at this point. He really looks like he's kind of just again going into his muscle memory just yeah, going for a standard zoning kind of situation <laughs> and that's something that you really can't do against you know any like solid players you know player it's like scourge mom like you it's not that you're not able to do it it's just knowing that at that current moment you don't do it don't go into your regular spacing routine the glory to to see to treat if you're if you're seeing your opponent get in on you just stop try to break that habit right. and i see a lot of villagers can't they get into that routine that just right, i'm just gonna zone you eight just bear and lloyd bear and lloyd 
Yep. And it's not working out for him. Maybe he should go in and... Actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen Vin throw out a single grab this entire game. Yeah, I haven't and seen really grabs. He's just kind of been moving in and out. Yeah, uh, or... Using his fairies and Lloyd rocking. Or, or moving moving forward with the Lloyd is a very powerful strategy. Yeah. Just because, you know, you have to force a reaction out of your opponent. Either they're going to shield the Lloyd and you can get a grab, or they're going to jump and you can punish their jump. With the, just just by following the Lloyd. It's doing such a simple thing. Yeah. And we're not seeing Vin do that at all. There. And the thing that I'm really loving oh. from Scourge Mom is that Scourge Mom throughout this entire time, he's just been, he's been aggressive. Yeah. But he knows when to wait. He doesn't go, he hasn't been overcommitting. He like hasn't that. been undercommitting at all. And I think that's something that is so important in the game, just to oh. have that great medium. Yeah, Scourge Mom is one of those players that is not afraid to go in, not afraid to commit, not afraid to throw movesets when he feels it's safe. Loves that. He loves that. Yeah. I think he was afraid he didn't really run that situation right there. Oh, that's surprisingly hidden through shield. I'm really liking what Scourge Mob is doing. Scourge Mob would run away when he needs to see Void, and then up B back and punish Villager with that up B. Ooh, nice. Nice following him with that up smash. Not quite killing them. Probably hit him with a sour spot of that up smash. Yeah. I'm actually very surprised. We have not seen a pocket come out of, um, out of it at all. Yeah, it's I've not seen a pocket of that thunder, and I think it could be pretty dangerous, especially against Pikachu's recovery, as uh, once he does pocket, Soldier does pocket Pikachu's Thunder, he literally just go, stand to the edge, and just throw it, and it'll yeah. just go straight down and spike him. Yeah, and Pikachu, Pikachu has to avoid it, and or you try to maneuver in a weird, very weird fashion with his up being to avoid that, but I'm not seeing any of that right now, and, and Scourge Mall just has the read on him every time it has rolled, uh, he's been he, eating up smash. Yeah, and I love how he's just walking him down into the corner. And now it's just situation just reversed. But for the most part, that's just kind of been the name of the game for him. He's just been walking him down the corner, goes in, pressures him, and then you know stays down, stands his ground, makes sure he didn't give up too much uh, too much stage control at any Ooh, point. I started up smash then. I don't agree with what Finn did there. Cutting down the tree, he should just wait and reverse up smash the forward smash. Knowing that Scourge really only option was to roll in to avoid any any damage by the tree. So a good jolt right there, good jolt to forward smash from Scourge Mob. And it looks like he's looking to close this out as a solid 2-0 at this point. Yeah, this is a very yeah, bad situation for Bid. Not unwinnable though. Being villager, he does again the yeah. land oh well, he does it? No. Not quite. But yeah, as villager, shot. yeah, yeah. As villager having one of those zoning games, this is if he's able to close his stock, this is still doable for more villagers. But just like I said, that's that, gonna do it. Scourge Mount with a convincing 2-0. Two two stock. And yeah. Scourge Mount telling him, telling him about the pocket. Yeah, man. that pocket. Yeah, we did not see any pockets really come out during that the course of that set. Yeah, and that's it, something that's just really important. You gotta have your pocket out there unlocked. And you have to let the Pikachu know that you are willing to do so. Otherwise, Pikachu is going to be able to throw jolts for free yep. and the pressure for free. And, you know, you really see what the, what the result is from there. Yeah. The, the p and also, the, the joke could even have helped them interrupt um, Scourge Mom's uh, approaches. He's pocketing one of the jokes, throwing light, uh, Lloyd, and running away and releasing the joke. This covers so much space on the stage, and did not really doing much with it. Not doing anything with his pocket, not doing with... But the great moves that he has, force smashing off stage to try to punish Scourge recovery, mm -hmm. just letting him get off with a lot of free things.